going on everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing kyle weatherman's 2020 back to blue and um mike Harmon racing uh extreme series camaro mike Harmon racing ha got like two or three die cast produced this year and uh i think i really liked i really wanted to get this car so i'm really happy i bought it and, um, yeah, very excited to review this car today. But before we get into the review, all, my, I will be putting a link to Casey Diecast in the description below. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy my videos. Also, hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 120 subscribers. Really want to hit it soon, guys. Let's do it. You guys already know. Just said it. Like and subscribe. And uh, let's get right into this review. All right, guys, so here is the die cast out of the box. And, uh, you know, there's not too much of a design to it, but, uh, I mean, this car looks pretty cool. So let's start. So we're going to start with the front of the car here. Um, whoa. Um, all right. Now, I'm pretty sure that the My Carmen Racing cars, I'm pretty sure that their cars are, like, the older models, are, like, 2017 models, just because of how small of a team it is. Because that front bumper compared to like an, any uh, different X-Men car, but I just don't happen to have any where I'm filming right now. This part looks a lot longer. And uh, yeah, I, the, the devs, I don't know if this is exactly a 2020 model. But uh, yeah, here's the front of the car. You got 47. Got Simpson, I believe, of uh, Sunoco. And then you got, you got the grill with that Chevy logo there in the middle. Looks to be a little off. But uh what why did that look backwards to me don't know why but that looks upside down to me i don't think it is but it might be i don't know anyways um here's the side of the car so you see here you got nascar Xfinity series mobile warm you got arp nascar race car i was up there and then you got a sponsor back there it says i have no clue and anyway, so here's the side of the car um, now, this entire car, there's not too much of a design to it, but I mean, it looks pretty cool, I must say. I like how it's pretty much a basic car. I do like the one blue stripe down the middle here. I think that's a very cool to, you know, for respecting the police officers with everything that happened last year. And, um, I also find it cool that right, like, right here, just a, out of all, like, just a random place... There's like a little part of the American flag, which I also thought was very cool that they added to the car. Um, so really nothing to the car. You just got hashtag back to blue back there. Yeah, um, I, I just, I don't know. There's really nothing to say about this. I think this is technically an unsponsored car, but I mean, hey, it's pretty cool. No, no really design to it. The back of the car, you got hashtag back to blue. Um, yeah, th this definitely uh, must be on like a 2017 Camaro body. Because, or I might be wrong. I just, this doesn't look like a regular 2020 Camaro body. Um, focus. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, you got the Camaro back there. Back to blue. Got the Chevy taillights. Chevy logo, 47. Other side of the car. Car. Um, same design. Um, I just real. I just real. I mean, I must be honest with you. I just really thought it was cool this year. That, um, you know, this Kyle Weatherman and my Carmen Racing um, support the police, because I do too. And um, I thought it was really cool that, you know, they support them and decided, let's run a paint scheme for them. Because this is really cool. And, um, I mean, I was really happy to see this on the track. Even though you didn't really get to see it because it was, like, in the back of the pack. I still think this is very cool. And the, the, I think the font of the 47, also, well, the, the color of the 47 is 100% uh, different on camera than in person. But, I mean, I mean, I don't really know if there's a way you could change the number. I think it's, like, I think, like, all of my Carmen cars have always had, like, that type, that color for their fonts. So I think it's kind of iconic. I don't really know. But, uh, I mean, the car looks uh, pretty good. I really thought it was cool, you know. These guys decided to do that. And then you got the Journey Home, the Journey Home Project. Take a look at the roof here. You got the a white flag, uh, a flag, the American flag. It's all white with like the black stripes. And then you got that one stripe that is blue. Um, pretty cool design. Usually, I think it, the flag is all black, and then there's that one blue stripe, and those stripes are white. But since the base paint of the car is black, you know they had to do it the opposite way. 
So it looks pretty cool. And, uh, you know, really nothing much on that hood. Right here, you got the Xfinity banner with, you know, the red and then that line with the stripe with the blue. Got that cool 47 right there. Again, the, the color of it on camera is different than in person. And then here on the back, you got Weatherman. And it looks to be a little, I might be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, there's Weatherman. It looked to be wrong, but I might be wrong. And, um... Yeah, I really uh, like this car. Nothing really much to say about it because there's really no design to it, but uh, still really cool. And um, this is going to be a pretty short video today just because there's really no design to it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be for the diecast review. Um, definitely recommend buying it. They are still in stock, and uh, you should go get them before they uh, run out of stock. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap it up for today's diecast review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Once again, I will be putting the link to K-State Diecast in the description below. Also, my Discord server link in the description below. If you have Discord, we'll click that server, hit accept the and join, and come chat with me with all the other people on there. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.